custom built lift. Got an air over hydraulic ram on it. It'll come up to about 34 inches. Drops down at seven and a half inches from the floor. Built this thing a long time ago when I had my repair shop in here. some of this stuff tacked up and then we'll see what it looks like. off of these legs up to the post and make some supports and that's it fully extended got my plate I'll drill me some holes throw me some angle iron out there get me a chain fixed to it we'll be golden That's why it's kind of hazy in here. I went ahead and sprayed a coat of paint on it, what I could of it, to at least get a, a first coat. So the flywheel, the, the plate in the bottom is a flywheel out of a 2002 uh, Ford F250 with a 7.3. The uh, arms that's, uh, that the legs are on, that came off of that lift that you saw. Those wheels came off of uh, a dolly that was being thrown out by somebody. The pipes that are being used as the cross braces on that are pieces of pipe that I used when I built my uh, copy carver prototype. The center support in that is part of a jack post for a house. The ram, as you saw, came off of that other lift. So, and the plate that uh, is going on the top 
out of that lift that I took down earlier in here. So in a nutshell, um, on the low end of it, 1200, top end of it, about 2300. I've saved myself a ton of money and every bit of this was upcycled. Every bit of it. There it is complete. Topple spin. Can jack it by hand. Can do it with air. Put a tube down there to hold the handle. Be able to tighten it and let it down. It goes up to 78 and 13 sixteenths from the floor. Average height on these is about 70 inches. Uh, so uh, there it is. Completely upcycled. Even the ratchet strap. Ratchet strap I found on the side of the road. I think that was a pretty good build. At some point I'll try to get some video of it actually working. I have a truck in here now to do it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.